I'm sorry if you were wrong to buy a one-eyed snake at one point in your life. I'm sure it's happened to lots of other people. Yeah. It'd be so cool. I can't do it. Lo I know lo lots of other kids have done it. It's time to make it happen, Captain. Let's do this indeed. This is insane. I, I'm not looking forward to going through all this stuff and making the necessary dump runs and trying to sell stuff that's actually worth something. <sighs> Man. Oh, yeah. But look at how space it is in here now. So much space to store more stuff again. No, never again. Everything is getting labeled and going in totes like this. We're never going to have that catastrophe ever again. All that stuff up there. I'm just gonna stay there for now. Bust on fire? Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Okay. I didn't. I didn't want to bring you guys along for the entire. Well, I, I wanted to bring you along for the entire process of cleaning up underneath the house and everything. But I've kind of vowed to myself a long time ago that I would no longer bust my ass to try and film at the same time because it's just absolutely horrendous to put yourself through something like that. So I didn't do it. Oh my gosh, it's so bright out here. I can at least bring you along for the finished product. Light, dark. This is why I'm not filming while it's, while it's all happening. All right. All right, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It looks, it's beautiful. There's nothing all over the floor and dirt ground anymore. Just that one little thing right there. And then it's just open walking space and things nicely organized in little bins and boxes and just everything that I was hoping for it to be, even over here, which was a complete disaster before, is so nicely organized and looking fantastic. I am so happy with myself. And let me tell you what, there's not really a better feeling than being happy about yourself. I wanted to inspire you guys to do your own spring cleaning. It's time. Winter is over. It's time to clean. It's time to make things nice. It's time to do the second part of the video. Part two of this video. I got the mic still set up from the live stream, so I figured I'd just use it. Why not? Sounds good, doesn't it? Of course it does. Here is baby number one. This is a matrix. I'm not 100% certain yet, and I'm not calling whether or not this is a male or a female yet. If you are on the list for blood pythons and I haven't reached out to you yet, don't worry, I haven't reached out to anybody yet. I'm taking it slow with these guys. I'm not even gonna confirm the sex on them right now. I wanna make sure they're all eating and super well established and you know have, have gotten over there. I need to bite everything phase before I go in there and just 100% check what the genders are on these animals. And once I do have the genders checked out 100%, I will reach out to people on the list. That is very long and extensive. Thank you. This matrix right here, I just wanted to give you a look at the little details of the pattern. Very curious as many blood pythons are, but you can see the beauty in this animal. His head's, the head's a little bit dried out right now because he's holding it out of the water and, and that's why we keep them on water so they don't dehydrate. Some fairly long striping going on down the back and this is gonna be snake number one. And again, one of the reasons I'm pointing these things out is if you are on the list and you'd like to specify which animal you prefer, um, then this is the video for you to check out and decide based on just color alone. And this is blood python number two, funny enough with only one eye. I don't know why this one we decided to be number two, but it is just a, a one-eyed snake. I don't know how you guys feel about one-eyed snakes out there. there there's, I imagine, very mi mixed emotions about one-eyed snakes out there in the world. 
some people, everybody has a different experience with a one-eyed snake. You never know who's going to take offense to it. So I'm sorry if you were wrong to buy a one-eyed snake at one point in your life. I'm sure it's happened to lots of other people. And you see, no eye. He is a matrix. He is gorgeous. And despite his lack of a second ocular expression, he's doing just fine. Moving about as normal. Already eaten. And... Nice long stripe going down the back. Blood Python number three. I first thought this was going to be one of the normals, but I mean, you can see that tongue flicking out. That's a that's a pink tongue, all right. Oh, that's pink. This is so. This is a matrix. Blood Python number three, also a matrix. You see that side pattern looking very nice. Uh, Dan Magano, if you happen to be watching this, can you confirm or deny based on this pattern what I just said? I would appreciate it, man. I appreciate you watching the videos too. If you guys haven't checked out Dan's channel, you want to learn some stuff about blood pythons, I'll put a link down in the description for Dan Magano's channel, Dan Magano Snakes. That guy knows his blood python stuff. And I highly recommend checking out his channel if you are interested in information on blood pythons. Oh, so nice. So nice. Re regardless of whatever's happening, that is just a... Look at, look at that. I always feel like people are trying to emulate a blood python pattern when they're going for their their ball python projects. That's just how I feel about it. It's like, that's that's a good looking snake right there. Mm -hmm. And last but certainly not least is blood python number four. This one is a wild type for certain and is equally gorgeous and probably the most skittish of the whole group, honestly, but you know, with some regular handling and some, some confidence built, I don't see this snake having any issues whatsoever. Looking nice. I don't know if you guys watched the very first video when we were sexing these and Travis was here and we were splitting them. Sorry, I touched your tail. Uh, one of them seemed to have very uh, neurotic issues going on. And I think it was just some shell shock coming out of the egg because that snake has not revealed itself to me again. And I thought it would have been this one but he or she is acting completely normal at this point. No weird head stuff. So I don't, I, it was weird. I don't know, go back. If you watch that video, go back and check it out. That whatever animal was doing that stopped doing it. And I, was, I was gonna use that as like, that's how I was gonna identify that was that animal. But it, it never happened again, um, ever. So don't have to say about that other than, look at that pretty snake. <laughs> I think it's time for part three of this video. What do you guys think? Hmm. What do you guys think? Obviously there's still a buttload of work to do in here. Uh, gonna reorganize all that over there and I'm gonna put scrub pythons in here and here. I don't know who's going in there yet, but yeah, make it happen. I gotta take another shower. Ooh, three showers in one, three showers, two, two or three showers in one day. That's a lot of showers. That's too many. There's too many showers in one video. Way too many. Got that thing out of here. See this thing, only had nothing. It had it had the toad. What's up, T? Can you get the, the bite out? Uh, hey, I gotta ask you something. What? What do you know? Uh, about biters. What about biters? That they eat some cockroaches, and that's all I know. <laughs> Tarantula, crested gecko, and a toad. That's all that was right here. And now in that space that I just created and added those cages back in, enclosures, five, six, twice the amount of animals and giving other animals more space. What was I doing? This thing was just collecting like dust and not just dust, but like I just put things here, you know, whiskey glasses and camera lenses and I, I got it all organized in there now. Come on. 
now it's looking great fantastically i can't wait to get the lights going on over here the heat and everything but I don't, I don't have time to do that right this moment i'm about to go to arizona with noah live streams triple b tv we got some good ones coming up for you this month ryan mcveigh of zilla chai park deadly tarantula girl good ones go go let's little self plug for my other channel triple b tv go check it out go check it out go check it out that was three while you're watching this video noah and i are in Arizona at the grand opening of the CNB thing. The videos you can expect coming forward are going to be as follows. Monday, we're going to have the travel vlog of Noah and I going to Arizona. Wednesday, we'll do an uncut at the party or the grand opening with Clint and Dave and Garrett. And then we'll have a herping video where we hopefully find some Gila monsters, rattlesnakes, maybe even some patternless Western diamondbacks. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to follow along and watch to see what happens, aren't you? <laughs> you wanna get the pita out? You wanna get the pita out? Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah. Come here, see. Over here. Come on, toy stay there. There you go, T. There's the pita. What you think? It's great. It's great? Yeah. Yeah? What are you it's gonna... so fluffy. Do you want to put this pita on your head? <laughs> no. Are you sure? No. You're not sure? No. You sure you don't want to put the spider on your head? No. Ooh, the prickly pricklies. <laughs> It'd be really cool. I promise it won't hurt you. I'll just put it on your head and you stay real still and it'll just sit there. No. It'll be so cool. I can't do it. I know lots of other kids have done it. You sure you don't want to try it? This same spider, lots of other kids put it on top of their head and it just crawls up there for just a minute and just hangs out and it's like a little pretty flower in your hair, but a spider instead. You don't want to try it? No. Please. What about on your head? Well, my head, I just, I just showered. I got all kinds of weird stuff on my head. I think it would be better on your head. Please, just a little quick try. <laughs> just a quick try. You, you trust me? You trust me? Do you trust me? No, I can't do it. I promise it'll be so much fun. <laughs> and then I'll take it right back off. <laughs> Just let me try. <laughs> I, I promise it'll be so good. Come stand over here. No, don't back away. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get her one of these times, folks. All right. You guys have a great day, whatever you're doing. Hope you're enjoying it and spending some good time with some loved ones. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Aloha. Mm -hmm.